Good day. Um, normally we would walk the Stations of the Cross, but unfortunately we're having so much work done in here that it isn't really possible to do it with any justification. So I'm just going to tell you what they are and we'll have our own meditations. I always think when we're doing this of that wonderful Afro-American spiritual where you there when they crucified my Lord and I hope we will have that on Good Friday. So we pray the way of the cross and I ask you to meditate on each station and before each station you may say we adore you O Christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am not going to say all the prayers after the station. So our first station is Jesus is condemned to death. And after this year, I propose to introduce the scriptural uh, stations which were uh, introduced, in fact, by Pope John Paul II. Now, the first station is Jesus is condemned to death. Pontius Pilate takes Jesus outside and says to the people, look at your king. They shouted, away with him, crucify him. Then Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. Behold your king, says Pilate. The way within the people shout. And we send you to your death. Lord Jesus, word made flesh, light for our dark world. God, come to save us. May we never send you away. The mob incited to cry out against Jesus. What would we do in such circumstances? Would we be part of the mob? Let us meditate on that. As we say, we adore you, O Christ. And we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And I forgot to give a pause to say that at the start, so we will from now on. But think of that. What would we do if Pilate brought Jesus out? Just think for a moment of what happened during the Second World War in Germany. That should give you an answer. So, after our first station, we will say the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The second station is Jesus receives his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was given the instrument of death and led away, made to carry his cross. He begins that progression towards the place of the skull, Golgotha. You are led to Calvary, Lord, carrying the cross by yourself. It was the cross only yours. Was it also mine you bore? By your holy cross, Lord Jesus, make us strong and 
able to take up the cross. But we, uh, we meditate on that. And we think we all carry crosses in our lives, but not like this one. Here Jesus is bearing on his shoulders the sins of the whole world from its beginning to its very end. So we think of that. He humbled himself to death and to a cross. Jesus the man cannot take much more. Jeered and spat up, dogs biting at his heels. He is a pitiful sight. How strange to see you fall, as anyone does who cannot go on. Let your eyes again. Amen. The fifth station, 
Simon of Cyrene helped Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your cross you have redeemed the world. A man named Simon of Cyrene was coming in from the fields, and they pressed him into service to carry the cross. Simon, coming in from the fields, was pressed to carry your cross, Lord. Did he come to know you, walking by your side? By your meeting with the Cyrenian, may we find you in the stranger and in the needy we meet. We meditate on, did Simon do this terrible task willingly? Would we? Or was it an honour for Simon to carry the cross of our Lord? Cast your mind back to that after an evening spiritual day that we learned when they crucified my Lord and think of our reaction to being asked to carry this heavy burden. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you and tell us the Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. He who welcomes you welcomes me, and he who welcomes me welcomes him who sent me. And I promise that whoever gives a cup of gold water will not want for a reward. Here a woman named Veronica, we don't know whether she existed or not, wash your face with a towel. Such a simple thing. A towel, a cup of water, a loving word. By your meeting with Veronica, Lord, help us to value such small things. So grace, when given in your name, On, would we offer a stranger such love and such compassion? This story in the stations is full of compassion. Here, a man bleeding, desperate, dying, dogs barking at him, and yet this woman comes to him gives him a cup of water and wipes his face. Think and meditate on compassion. Amen. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless yes. you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am the worm, and no man, the scorn of all, despised by the people. All who see me scoff at me. Can God fall, the mighty God, whose hands uphold all that is? By your second fall, Lord, remember how weak we are. Remember our helplessness. Remember our human frailty and come to our assistance. I think of that hymn by Graham Kendrick, the Seventh King, and he speaks of the hands that created everything into cruel nails to surrender. And here is our Lord walking on the road to Calvary and falling. Help us, Lord, to pick ourselves up from the depths of despair when we repeatedly fall and fall. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, Christ have, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, help us in our pain and in our suffering. 
as we hope we would have helped you. Amen. The eighth station. Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For the earth by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A great crowd of people followed him, including women who were beating their breasts and lamenting over him. Women wept as you passed, and you said, Weep not for me, but for your children. Keep the grace of this meeting alive in our hearts, Lord. Keep us concerned for humanity's children. And we meditate on the theme. Could we witness this act of human folly and not be moved? Here, the women of Jerusalem represent the whole world. Lord, look with kindness on us all. Amen. Amen. The ninth station. Jesus calls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am like water poured out. All my bones are racked. You have brought me down to the dust of death. Like water poured out, your strength is gone. You fall as in into the dust of death. By your third fall, O Lord, give us courage before our trials and patience to go on. Help us in all our needs. And we meditate on, give us courage, Lord, to fight temptation and follow the way of the cross in our daily lives. And we think of our lives, we rush from pillar to post. We don't have much time for thought. And sadly, Lord, so many of us don't have time for you. May that change as we contemplate the way of the cross. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They stripped off his clothes and began to mock him, saying, All hail, King of the Jews! They divided your garments and cast lots in your clothes. Stripped of your dignity, you had nothing of your own. By your disappointment, O Lord, clothe us in your mercy, which is rich beyond words. We meditate on how often do we pass by on the other side when we see the dirty and the dishevelled whom life itself has robbed of all dignity. Help us to remember they are as much God's children. In Jesus Christ, there are no bounds of age, race, colour, Class, creed. We are, we are all precious children of God. And we will say, on behalf of everybody, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The eleventh station.
Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After carrying his cross, Jesus came to the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. There they crucified him, and two others with him. Nailed to the cross, you know how many feel, who bound by circumstances year by year get no more. By your riven hands and feet, Lord, help those fixed to a cross by long illness or misfortune. And we meditate on, give us grace to have compassion and understanding. I had a friend who sadly has died uh, some years ago, and he was a passionist father. And the symbol of the passionists is five names. And they meditate on those five nails, and we meditate on the five wounds of Christ, here nailed to a tree, the Saviour of the world. Give us grace, Lord, to understand. Amen. The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus said, I thirst. And they gave him some sour wine. It is finished, he cried, and gave up his spirit. Once the prophet said, Who can believe our report? God's servant crushed in sorrow, pierced for our offences. Shall we not stand watching, Lord, mourning the sins you bear, rejoicing in the pardon you bestow? In our meditation, you died for the world. Yet the world so often forgets or is embarrassed. Let us never be ashamed to proclaim the name of Jesus. So often, Lord, we do pass by on the other side. When one thinks that this church is normally open every day, you get a few people to come in and pray, but not many. If I were to go into Eastgate Street, and ask people could they recite the Ten Commandments. Older people probably could, but young people know. I think back to when I were younger, and we were taught by our families, by our parents, the Lord's Prayer, the Ten Commandments, and the Apostles' Creed. In most schools today, I don't suppose children are taught these. And tonight I'm giving a talk to the children of our own school on Holy Week. So here, as Jesus dies on the cross, he gathers us up into his arms. Amen. The thirteenth station, Jesus is laid in his mother's arms. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. One of the soldiers thrust a lance into his side, and blood and water flowed out. Resting in your mother's arms and taken from the cross, you died trusting in a father's care, faithful unto death. By your holy death, O Lord, give us an unfailing trust in God. Commend us to your father, into your heart, father's hands. And we think of 
Jesus being taken down from the cross. And we think of that wonderful carving by Michelangelo, the Pieta, the mother with her dead son in her lap, and for which we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Yes, indeed. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us all. Amen. The fourteenth and last station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate for the body of Jesus and wrapped it in perfume oils. And he buried Jesus in a tomb close at hand. They were buried in a garden tomb, like a seed falling into the ground, waiting to rise again. Lord, help us to rise again after dying with you. May all who have fallen asleep rise again. And we think and meditate on the silence at the magnitude of the sacrifice made for all humanity. The silence of the moment. And Jesus is laid in a tomb. The silence throughout the whole universe. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Here ends the stations of the cross. God bless you.